Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And today I am opening some sweet pieces of mail. Look at this, three envelopes full of goodies. And uh, before I start, I just wanted to let you know one thing. That is, that is actually my birthday today. It's Sunday morning, 10th of July. And uh, I thought, you know what? Before I'm going to go into the city and meet friends and family to celebrate my birthday, let's first, you know, have a moment of peace and, uh, and open up some goodies to kind of get that birthday feeling going. And um, I've got three envelopes here, one from Belgium, one from Germany, and one, one from the United States. And uh, they're all quite special. I want to start with the German one. First off, I love the fact that Martin, the person that sent me this, wrote down Tim the Enchanter. That's just hilarious. Uh, Martin is from the Rhineland Avengers. I've known him for a while, met him at a lot of tournaments. He's a great guy and he makes one of the coolest trike arms to kind of use as counters on your trike. There's probably a little picture showing what I mean. And I was playing at a bar, at a pub, and I was playing with the counters. And yeah, maybe I had a couple of drinks. Anyway, when I got home and I checked my counters, I only had two instead of three. So in panic, I sent a message to Martin saying, Martin, Martin, du musst mir helfen. That's German for help me, please. And uh, because he is German and then he said, you know what, I'll make some new ones. And uh, he sent me this, uh, this envelope. He told me, by the way, that this stamp is quite special. It is from the 80s. Die Maus wird so. And he told me it's a television show, an educational television show. And I am a teacher, so that's kind of cool. So I'm going to make sure I don't damage the, um, the stamp. Going to keep it intact. Okay, here we go. There we go. Let's see. Check if the envelope is completely empty. Yes, it is. And ooh, cool. So this is his playgroup, Rhineland Adventures. And Martin, he's super creative. He makes the coolest stuff. So these are his stickers. I also have a play map. And I believe, Martin, that you're also on. Yeah, there's also a sticker here. The Rhineland Adventures. And the first time I met them, they also gave me an altar, which was super cool. So a really, really a bunch of nice guys. And um, yeah, this one is gonna find its way here on top. Actually, you got three, very generous, thank you. And here are the trike arms. And he's actually given me four, that's ideal, because I still have two, so combined with this. Let's have a look, where do I have those? Here we go, here we have the other two, so I'm gonna put these four with it. I will have six counters. And it looks like you've added something here as well. I mean, the thing with Martin is he's just super generous. It just, it's insane. Go out, come out, please. Okay, okay, here we go. So here we can see the arm. And the thing is, it's not just, it's made from a magic card, right? But he's put a layer on it. Here you can kind of see it. So it doesn't get damaged by water. It's got a little bit of protection. So if you spill some beer over it, it, it should be still be fine. And this is the arm shooting off from the trike, pretty cool. And we've got four in total, which means that I now have a collection of six with my old one. So that is super, danke schön, Martin. And uh, look at that, you sent a card as well. Let's flip it. Oh, cool. Auge um Auge. Yeah, wow. Thank you, man. That's unexpected. That is really sweet. Um, the thing is, I'm working on a foreign black bordered German deck. I recently had uh, Thunder Spirits coming in from Italy. Um, and I also have land taxes and some Spanish Armageddon. So I decided, you know what? Let's make a white weenie foreign black border deck. I um, I just love making decks with the theme. So in this case, they're all gonna be foreign black border. Look at the art. So this is of course a card, Eye for an Eye from Arabian Nights. It's a card you don't see often, but it's one of the only cards in white that allows you to deal direct damage. And I think nobody expects this card because it just sees no play. So what I usually have with white weenie is I, I almost, have my opponent dead, but then it kind of stops and my opponent takes over the game. So with this, I can actually kill my opponent out of nowhere. So super cool. Thank you, Martin, fantastic. And then, oh wow, there's more. 
That is cool. I actually need these in the deck. I don't have enough of these. Wow. So two Tundra Wolves, one one first striker from uh, from Legends. Sweet. And a Pegasus. I'm loving this, man. Danke, danke schön. Super cool. So the one one flyer with banding, or as they say in German, fliegen verbunden, verbunden, uh, verbunden in in Dutch. Uh, to connect, which just kind of means what banding is, isn't it? So I think these cards are super useful in my white weenie deck. So I'm definitely going to play them. Danke, Martin. So this is the post from Martin. Awesome start of my birthday here. I'm going to put these aside, put the counters over here. And then now uh, I'm going to open up envelope number two. And here we have an envelope and this is from Petra. Now Petra is... I can say that, right? A big fan of the channel. Uh, I think you watch all the mail day episodes. You always leave a comment, which is very much appreciated. And um, yeah, you also send posts my way every now and then, which is super cool. You're so generous. And um, yeah, I wonder what you've sent my way. You always send very interesting things. She's also a collector of magic cards. And here we go. Okay. Here it comes. Read number one, then number two. Number three is for your white foreign set. Keep up the good work. Kind regards. Till the next sequels. Petra. Okay, so I got to start with number one. Oh, wait. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Hi, Thomas. A fun fact for a change about a vintage Mirage card for your Mill Day video. Did you know that there is a sequel to the Octavi... Orang Guben card, Orang Orang Utang, Orang Utang card, like the, like an orangutan, an orangutan card. Sorry, sorry guys, life stuff. Um, no, I did not know that. And then, okay, so I'm gonna start with number one, then with number two. Let's have a look. Okay, wow. Okay, Petra, you're really making me curious. Um, we've got number one here. Number one, look at the background. Well, you see a couple of who decided not to get a room. Okay, I think I know this card from Mirage. This is, of course, the infamous orangutan. And there we see the two monkeys in the background. So it's uh, one green two to cast for a 2-2. And this is the visions symbol, I believe. I remember, I, I was playing Magic when this came out. I remember this. When Uktabi orangutan comes into play, destroy target artifact. Okay, okay, cool, cool. So this is number one. Let's see. Now take a look at the at the follow-up card. It looks like the couple didn't use any protection. Ooh. <laughs> okay, here we go. Bang! Uktabi Kong. Oh, there, they're at the back. Oh, yeah. You can see she's pregnant. Trample. When Uktabi Kong comes into play, destroy all artifacts. Step two, untap apes you control. Put a 1 1 green and creature token into play. And this is unhinged. Oh, man. That is funny. That is funny. Look. There we go. That is Petra. That is funny. Okay, now I'm going to go to number three. Okay, number three, whoop, for your foreign deck, not much. I hope you like it anyway. There we go. Of course, first of all, Petra, of course I like it. I really appreciate it that you're sending me these stories and letters and uh, it's fantastic. And I think a lot of viewers enjoy it too. And here we go. Ah, yeah, so this is a pearled unicorn, a 2-2. Ah, beautiful card, beautiful card. And, oh, nice, this is the Iron Star. So um, you get a life every time you cast a red spell. Really, really nice. Very good, thank you very much. And this is hilarious, these two guys together. Thank you for sending this over. And uh, now we have our last envelope. And our last envelope has a little bit of a story um, because I got contacted by Sir Proxy um, over on Instagram and he sent me a message and said, you know, I really like what you do with the channel. I saw on your mail day videos that 
from time to time you open up some proxies. I actually make proxies as well, and he's got a really unique style. So right now you can see a screenshot of his Instagram. Um, it's really kind of fun to have a look and browse over what he does and how he makes his proxies. I mainly use proxies just as placeholders, but I know a lot of people also play with it. And what I like about these proxies is he's got his own style and it's very clear to see that, you know, these are not the real thing. This is just a different version of his view of, of the card within his style. So I quite like that. So anyway, he sent me a message. He said, is it okay if I sent you some proxies? So of course I said, yeah, you know, go for it. So I love when that happens, when people just, send me messages through Instagram and go like, hey, I love what you do and I'd like to do something back and can I send you something? I'm like, of course. And we had some really sweet proxies coming in here uh, before on the channel. Wow, this is, this is heavy, this is full. Let me check if we have something else. This is it all the way from the States. So this comes from, let's have a look, St. Paul. Not quite sure where in the States that is, but I can I can look it up, of course. And we're gonna open it up. So this is, this is, I can feel it's heavy. There we go. So here we see Sir Proxy Playtest Cards. Boom, and I actually love, the, look at the logo and everything. Like this is fancy, man. He's got a Patreon program, so for people who are interested, wow, Mana Flare, look at that Mana Flare, that is super cool. Okay, I'm gonna open it up here, wow. He's really put a lot of effort into this. And let's have a look, City of Brass, so cool. So just a wide back. Sir Proxy, but the front is so nice. Look at that, it's all shiny. City of Brass, what a cool altar, man. Like I said, he really has his own style and this is what I meant. And I love that, you know, I love it when people get creative. Time Twister, oh, I probably should go the other way. Time Twister, so this is his version of the Time Twister. Super cool, let's, let's, um. Take a look at the rest, shall we? So here we've got a Mana Flare. Very cool. You know what, I'm just gonna take it out so we can kind of see it without the glare. So this is the Mana Flare. Then, oh, Black Lotus! I finally own a Black Lotus! <laughs> oh, but this is quite nice. Shiny, so zero to cast, of course, we can sack it. Very, very, very cool. And a Mox Sapphire, wow. Look at this, maybe this is my favorite so far. That is really cool, but I got a thing for blue, of course, so that's easy. Let's go to the next one. We've got a Time Walk, wow, This the moon cycle. That is so cool. This is such a cool Time Walk. That is amazing, man. That is really sweet. I think the time walk now is the favorite. Uh, and here we got a mana drain. Very sweet. I just like the whole layout of the card. And here you can still read what it does. You know, you've got the mana symbols here. It's an instant card name at the top. He's actually kind of changing that as well at where he puts the card name, which is quite fun. And they're really, they're, they're good quality. They're thick. They're really like card cards. Nice. Perfect placeholders. Then we got the Lantex. I like the Lantex, look at this. Very minimalistic design. Kind of like a sound wave, isn't it? Lantex, one white to cast for this enchantment. I think we all know the cards, right? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, a Vampiric Tutor. Well, I don't play that format, but I do know the card, of course. What a cool design. Wow. As a matter of fact, you know what? I can do a giveaway because I don't play this format anyway. So if you want a Vampiric Tutor, maybe you play Premodern or something. Um, I think it's legal, right? Premodern. Anyway, let me know in the comments below why you want the Vampiric Tutor. And um, yeah, maybe I'll select 
your comment and, uh, and uh, we'll get in touch with you. And I'll send you over this Vampiric Tutor. Very, very cool card. And then we've got the last one of the bunch. This one I actually saw on your Instagram as well. Sylvan Library. Very, very cool. I just love that design. You can really, what I like is you really have your own style. So here, let's get the time twister also out of the sleeve. And the city of brass, fantastic. And of course, this is the one city then, I believe, this cube that has a slightly different color. Nice. Well, the whole thing, of course, is the city, but this is where you get the different kinds of mana from, I guess. I don't know, but it's cool, man. I love it. I think my, my favorite, kind of like all of them, but I think my favorite is the Time Walk and, and, and the Mock Sapphire. I can't choose. But what I love about the Time Walk is, is the Moon Cycle. And what I love about the Mock Sapphire is just the diamond with here with the, yeah, how do you call this? The, the darkness and here this is kind of the light isn't it and you've got movement because of the direction it goes in i really really like that absolutely stunning stunning cards thank you sir proxy and also of course a thank you to petra for the funny story and the cards and a thank you to martin for sending over these goodies and of course the strike arms i love these strike arms uh, so remember, if you want to get the Vampiric Tutor, where is it? Oh, here it is. If you want to get the Vampiric Tutor, uh, please let me know in the comments below why you want it, what you're going to use it for. And who knows, maybe I'm going to send it over to you. Would love to hear from you. For now, thank you very much for watching another episode, another Mail Day episode right here on Timmy Talks. I'm going to go outside and celebrate my birthday, and I'll see you guys next week. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? Somebody can see.